hi guys welcome to my channel today we're making cajun shrimp pasta first thing i did i washed my shrimp with water and vinegar now you're going to see me add some smoked paprika i just give it a few dashes <laughs> you can put more and you can put less next i'm adding the maggi fish seasoning this is one of my favorite seafood seasonings the maggi one and i'm going to also add some cajun seasoning because this is cajun pasta which simply means spicy shrimp pasta so i'm just adding some cajun seasoning here next i am going to add some all-purpose adobo I am not going to use any salt because I used a few dashes of adobo and it's high in sodium. Onto some black pepper. I'm just going to use a little because I'm using other spices. Now I am going to add one of my favorite, favorite, favorite seasoning. You're going to see me put this in literally everything. That's the Walker's wood jerk seasoning i'm using the mild this thing is really 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 spicy so you don't need a lot a little goes a very long way so i'm just gonna mix that all in and set that aside let's cut some bell peppers it's the same thing we jamaicans call sweet pepper um, i'm using all the colors that i could find you can use two color you can use one it doesn't matter what i'm doing here i am cutting them as straight as i possibly can i slice the pepper slice a piece and then i cut off each edge that's to get a straight cut because it's more pleasing to the eye and it's a personal preference of mine I am going to make sure I try to get them as even as I possibly can. I don't have like such perfect knife, knife skill, but I try. <laughs> I'm just going to speed that up and then you'll see me cutting all of them because it's the same thing I'm doing over and over. Now I am going to use a half of an onion and I am going to cut that in small slices because onion it has such a powerful flavor and i do not want the onions to overpower my dish so i'm going to cut them in small slices as i possibly can because the onions will give it a nice flavor however if you're not careful you will taste more onions than the actual pasta or bell peppers so you have to be careful of that now i am going to just add some broccoli because the broccoli will cut the heavy taste of the cheese so the broccoli is going to reduce that cheesy flavor for me i do not like heavy pasta so if it if it has a lot of cheese I really don't like it so I'm adding broccoli to break up that flavor pattern and again that's a personal preference of mine but it gives it that crunchy taste and it makes it taste really good now on my stove on medium heat I have a pot with water that I'm gonna add just a few drops of salt and I have a frying pan Oh, and I added some vegetable oil to my water. That's to prevent my pasta from sticking. And to my frying pan, I'm adding some vegetable oil, which I am going to regret adding so much oil further down in the video. You'll see. Now I'm using the pinier pasta because that's the one I prefer for this type of pasta. So I'm using like three quarter of the box i'm not using the entire box and i'm going to let that cook for 10 minutes i am going to let it cook but not all the way through because when i'm when i'm um, placing my pasta in 
my sauce i do not want it to be fully cooked because then i'll have overcooked pasta and nobody likes overcooked pasta you see me just move my my um pot to the other side of the stove my pasta is still cooking i just the water was going over into my frying pan and i didn't want that so now i put my shrimp in my frying pan and i'm just making sure each of them are in the oil and i'm going to fry this on each side for about two minutes or until it changes to that orange or pink color shrimp is one of the easiest thing that can cook so you do not need to cook your shrimp for 10 15 minutes no you'll overcook it and then it will taste all rubbery and nobody wants overcooked shrimp right so i'm just slipping them over because if, as you can see the color changes and once the other side changes to that same color then i'm finished i'll just take them out and move on to the next one and the next thing you need to remember is that you do not need high heat under your food because when you have a medium heat you can control what's going on in your pot but if you have it on high flame then by the time you look your whole food is a mess right you burn the pot and you don't want to do that so always try to keep it at medium heat to low now my shrimp is cooked as you can see it looks so juicy and tasty you can also substitute the shrimp in your um pasta for chicken you don't have to use shrimp you can use chicken just use the same um, slices of chicken breast and follow the same procedure so i'm just removing my shrimp from the pot here and next i am going to add my bell peppers so basically what i do i cook them separately because i i cannot put my bell peppers with my shrimp because my shrimp is going to cook before my bell peppers and i do not want that so now i'm just adding my bell peppers i'm going to separate that and this is where i'm going to regret all that oil I, I sauteed my my bell peppers and they're cooked but now it's like my pot had so much oil i removed everything and i added my broccoli and now i'm going to add my onions i'm going to saute both of them together and for the broccoli you want that crunchy taste you do not want it to be fully cooked well it's cooked anyway but it has that crunchy that crunchy um broccoli taste the reason now you see my pasta this is after 10 minutes i don't know why i did that because it was really really hot and that's how you want your pasta to cook not too soft that texture is perfect for me for my broccoli as i was saying i removed most of the stem as much as possible because that's the hardest part to cook in broccoli the leaves are easier to cook and i didn't have time to cook all that stem that's why i removed it um earlier 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 on in the process now i'm going to remove my broccoli and onions from the pot and i'm switching to a bigger frying pan now i'm adding one cup heavy whipping cream i'm going to add that to um a pot on medium heat and for this you need medium to low heat because this is pasteurized milk which means it can easily separate so you have to be careful you don't want your heavy whipping cream boiling because then you'll separate the um it's like you will have that curled look i'm just adding i'm just gonna add a little more i poured like probably like an ounce of water in the in the cup i just poured a little not a lot and uh, now i'm adding some adobo i am going to add my favorite jerk seasoning 
just a little and to get the complexion <laughs> why did i say complexion to get the color of the pasta i'm going to add paprika oh yeah i added some cajun seasoning how could i forget this i am just for me i like flavor so i'm just giving my my heavy whipping cream some taste and i'm adding half a teaspoon of paprika but this paprika i got from jamaica so it has this strong orange color honestly i don't know the ones that i use here they don't have this color i don't know if you can find paprika that will change the color of your pasta but you can just add regular paprika now i'm adding one jar of shredded parmesan cheese i got this from the store i don't remember how many ounces is that you know but i think that's like a cup now i'm adding some powdered parmesan this is about two tablespoon yeah about that i also add i had some um provolone cheese slices in my fridge and i just i just cut those up and i'm going to add them the cheese for this pasta is parmesan parmesan cheese is your best friend for this i the only reason why i'm adding the provolone is because i already had it but normally i'll just use parmesan cheese as as you can see i use the powdered version on the and the shredded version you can add more cheese if you like your pasta very cheesy and you can add less so right now my stove is on low and i'm just separating the cheese making sure that is melt i'm just using a whisk because i want my cheese to melt so that it can um the pasta can absorb that creamy texture for this you don't need to add anything for thickness the cheese and the heavy cream will thicken your sauce don't add any breadcrumbs or any flour you don't need all of that the next step i'm adding my broccoli my onions my shrimp so all the stuff that I sauteed earlier on, I'm going to add them here and I'm going to mix that in. I'm going to combine everything together. Just look at that. I wish you guys could smell this. It smelled so delicious. I'm going to add my pasta now. What I did for this pasta, I did both shrimp and I did chicken on another one and I only recorded the the trim because my camera battery died so I couldn't um, record the chicken version but if you want to see the chicken version of this pasta just comment down below and I'll make sure to upload that I'll make sure to film it and I'll upload it another time so I'm just mixing everything together mix it up mix it up mix it up so it can have that flavor and everything can be coated nicely because when you taste this trust me no restaurant pasta not taste like this may I tell you when you mix this up the broccoli gonna get that nice flavor as me say you can forget about the broccoli if you don't want the broccoli and you can just use your sweet pepper, your bell pepper, your, your pasta. We call it macaroni in Jamaica because everything is macaroni. But this is pinnae pasta. Now I'm just adding some parsley because your girl is addicted to parsley. Honestly, I think I'm addicted to parsley. But yeah, I'm just adding some parsley for flavor and for the aesthetic. Next thing I never got to flame any taste test i am so sorry guys because um my battery died i never expected that but i'm just gonna let that saute and come together and wait you're gonna see the end result this was so delicious i made this for my friends and my family all the time and we always enjoy it now we gonna post some pictures because as me say i never get to do any taste version of it i truly truly apologize if you try this please tag me on instagram look at that 
Cajun shrimp pasta. It looks delicious. It tastes delicious. If you try this, tag me on Instagram at Latoya's Funland. Comment down below if you're going to try it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Cajun shrimp pasta. Subscribe to your girl channel. I'm out. Bye.